Mucus is a substance that lines the airways of the lungs to provide lubrication, filtration, and protection to keep foreign materials from entering the respiratory system. As you take a breath in, pollutants such as dust, allergens, and even viruses get stuck in mucus which functions to keep these debris from reaching the lungs. With that all said, sometimes the body can produce too much mucus which leaves you feeling congested and makes it more difficult to breathe, especially if you have that feeling of constant phlegm in the back of your throat. Since you're here, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. And the good news is, in this video, we are going to talk about some of the easiest and most effective ways to get rid of that nagging feeling. Be sure to watch until the end because there are a few techniques that not too many people know about. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Just a quick reminder, this video is for informational purposes only. But before we get into the techniques, first we need to talk about the causes. The most common causes of increased mucus and phlegm include laryngopharyngeal reflux, post-nasal drainage, food allergies, infections, and certain respiratory conditions. So now that you know some of the most common causes, let's talk about some of the techniques that you can use to provide relief for these nagging symptoms. And keep in mind that Knowing the cause of the issue can help a lot when it comes to selecting the right treatment method. But first and foremost, to get rid of excess mucus and phlegm, you can try to gargle warm salt water. This is a classic home remedy that feels nice and can help get rid of mucus that has accumulated in the back of your throat. It works because sodium helps to break up the disulfide bonds within mucus and thins it out for removal. It can also help to soothe a sore throat as well. Simply mix one half a teaspoon of salt with one cup of warm water so that the salt will dissolve in the liquid. Tilt your head back slightly and gargle the mixture in your throat without drinking it and repeat the process as needed. Another method that you can consider is to try the huff coughing technique. Huff coughing is a forced expiration technique that is an alternative to deep coughing and is also useful in getting rid of mucus and phlegm. All you have to do is take a breath that is slightly deeper than your normal tidal volume breath, then use your diaphragm and the muscles in your stomach to make a series of three rapid exhalations with an open airway. This is where the technique gets its name because at this point you will literally be making huffing sounds. Lastly, perform a series of controlled diaphragmatic breaths and perform a deep cough if you feel that these secretions are starting to loosen up. And one of the most tried and true methods for getting rid of mucus is to make sure to drink plenty of fluids. You probably grew up hearing your parents tell you to drink plenty of water every time you were sick or had a cold. Now it may sound cliche, but they were 100% correct because it actually does help improve the functionality of pretty much all of the major systems of the body. Not to mention, staying hydrated helps to thin out mucus as well. If your body is dehydrated, it will cause the secretions to thicken up, which makes them more difficult to remove and makes the issue much worse. On the other hand, if your body is well hydrated, the fluids help to break up the mucus so that it doesn't stick to your airways, which makes it easier to cough up or blow out through your nose. So listen to your parents and try to drink a lot of water. Another technique is to keep your head elevated. This is especially important while sleeping. As previously mentioned, a post-nasal drip is one of the most common causes of excess phlegm, especially while lying down. It causes secretions to accumulate in the back of your throat, which leaves you with that uncomfortable feeling. Simply keeping your head elevated can prevent this collection of mucus from occurring. Keep in mind that this technique does not make the mucus go away. However, it does prevent it from building up in the back of your throat, which will leave you feeling much better overall. Another easy method is to take a hot bath or shower. In this case, the main benefit is to inhale the steam that is produced by warm water. Steam acts as a natural way to help break up and get rid of mucus because it consists of tiny liquid aerosol particles that are suspended within the air. The process is simple. Simply breathe in and out to allow the humidity from the steam to enter the airways and work to loosen up mucus so that it can be removed. This method also helps reduce sinus pressure, chest congestion, and other nagging symptoms as well. 
The next technique that we should mention is to keep your allergies under control. Not only can seasonal allergies cause a runny nose, itchy throat, and watery eyes, they can also cause excessive amounts of mucus and phlegm to build up as well. So keeping your allergies in check is a no-brainer. Make sure that you're using your typical prescription or over-the-counter allergy medications in order to alleviate these symptoms, because otherwise, this could lead to increased amounts of mucus, which obviously is the opposite of what we want. Another thing you can do is avoid irritants. Things like pollution, chemicals, and even certain fragrances can trigger the body to produce excessive amounts of mucus. So if you notice that any of these are making your symptoms worse, just try to avoid it if at all possible. And now I couldn't have made this video without bringing up smoking, right? Cigarette smoke contains over 7,000 toxic chemicals some of which can trigger the body to create mucus as a way to combat foreign substances. Now it goes without saying, and I know I keep mentioning it all the time, but if you smoke, try to stop. And try to avoid secondhand smoke as well if you're around others who do. Now this one you may not have thought of, but you should try to eat foods that are good for the respiratory system. Anecdotal studies found that certain foods and drinks can be very effective in getting rid of mucus and phlegm. Let's look at spicy foods as an example. Spices such as chili and cayenne pepper contain substances that can stimulate and clear up your sinuses. This can help make removing secretions much easier by blowing your nose or coughing. Some more examples of healthy foods for your lungs include foods with healthy fats, spices that reduce inflammation, and fruits and vegetables that are high in antioxidants. And of course, you should try to avoid the foods that your body is allergic to that make symptoms worse. The next technique that we should mention is to use eucalyptus oil. The eucalyptus tree originated in Australia and has been a source of food for wildlife for centuries. It wasn't until later on that humans discovered its positive health benefits, which includes treating sinus congestion, common cold, fever, and other respiratory elements. The leaves of a eucalyptus tree are gathered, dried, crushed, and then distilled into the essential oil supplement that is widely used today. Eucalyptus contains many components that are beneficial for your health, but one of the most primary constituents is called cineol. It's an active ingredient that works as an expectorant, which means that it can aid in the removal of excess mucus and phlegm. It works by reacting with the mucous membranes in the airways of the lungs and helps loosen up secretions so that they can be coughed up more easily. And another method is simply to take the right medications. The most effective way to get rid of mucus is to take the medications that are prescribed directly by your doctor. This is especially true for those who have underlying respiratory conditions. But if you're looking for other means, some over-the-counter medications may be helpful as well. Medications such as expectorants can help to loosen up mucus and phlegm buildup and make it easier to cough up or blow out through your nose. Also, certain types of decongestants may provide short-term relief, but they are generally not recommended for continuous use. And sometimes they can even make it more difficult to get rid of mucus in the long term. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I hope you like the tips that were shared in this video. Millions of people around the world suffer from the uncomfortable feeling that comes when excess mucus and phlegm accumulates in your lungs and in the back of your throat. But now, hopefully, you have a better understanding of the causes and know some of the most effective methods for getting rid of those uncomfortable signs and symptoms. As always, to be safe, be sure to speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment because they will know more about your individual condition. We are not doctors and this video is for informational purposes only. And just a reminder, we do have a full guide on this topic on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.